Today I'm sharing three easy steps to get your closet in tip-top shape. Plus, per your request, a tour of my closet. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Yes, we are going to go on a closet tour and that's because I've had so many requests to see my, my updated closet. I had it professionally done last year. But uh, before we get into the video, if this is your first time visiting, a very warm welcome. Of course, you're going to get to hit that subscription box down below so you don't miss any videos coming your way. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, Style at a Certain Age, and a lovely lifestyle blog, styleataceartainage.com. But let's get into our closet cleanse. So I always take an afternoon to do my closet cleanse. And I would recommend that you do an afternoon too, because it can be very, very um, time consuming, you know, especially if you're going through item by item and then trying those items on. So I like to pour a nice glass of wine. I put on a really nice playlist and I just really just kind of enjoy the process rather than thinking that, oh my gosh, I've got to, you know, I have so much, you know, so many clothes to go through and, you know, it's just a task and all of that. So I try to make it as enjoyable as possible. So I'm just going to share that tip with you. Well, we have a different venue for today's video. So I'm standing in my closet and I'm standing amongst my spring summer wardrobe. But before you know it, if you can believe it, yes, I know it's still July, but fall is fast approaching and with it fall fashion, which is my favorite time of year. But before I, you know, switch out my spring summer closet for my fall winter, I go through my fall winter items, item by item, and then I follow a three step closet cleanse. So I'm gonna take you through a step by step of how I go and organize my closet. So it's just really in tip top working condition. And then it also helps me get a list together of items that I'm missing or those, you know, wanna haves and must haves and all of that. So. Uh, let's get into my steps. So the first step is when I'm going through my closet, I take each item and I ask myself three questions. And the first question is, does it fit? Yes, we gain weight, we lose weight. There's a lot of different things that can happen in the course of six months. So I try every item on and I determine if it still fits. And then uh, if it still fits, then that's a keeper. If it doesn't fit, then I'm going to go and I, I'm going to put it in a pile. So I have actually three piles. Uh, one is if it's in really, really good condition, then that's going to be my sell pile. If it's not in good condition, then that's going to be my uh, donate pile or possible rubbish pile. And then the third uh, pile is pretty obvious and that's I'm going to keep it. So I have three different piles going through after I see if it fits. Okay. So if it, um, another question that I ask is the one year rule. So this is items excluding your special occasion items because you don't necessarily wear those regularly. But my one year rule is have I worn it in the last year? If I haven't worn it, then it goes into one of the piles that I've established, which is the the, um, the donate pile or the sell pile, because I don't keep anything in my closet if I have not worn it in the past year. And I know that's very ruthless, but it really keeps me honest about maybe I made a fashion mistake, maybe I you know I just made a uh, you know just a bad choice, or you know maybe I just have too many uh, black tees that um, really uh, that I don't need. So. So that so that's my second question and the third question is fairly obvious and that is is this item damaged so that perhaps may be that a zipper is broken maybe there's a torn um, you know a torn seam maybe there's you know something that's easily you know taken to the tailor you know missing buttons things like that so if it's if it's damaged in any way then I can assess that and then I can actually take it off I can either repair it myself or take it off to the tailor but if it's irreparable then then it goes into either, uh, I mean, most likely it's gonna go into my, my rubbish bin. Um, I, I would actually have to, you know, really take a look at the damage if it, if it would go into either of the other piles. So, so those are the three questions that I ask myself when I'm going through item by item. Then I put them in my piles and then now I'm gonna take you through, so when, when I have them in my piles, then what, uh, you know, some possibilities of where you can actually sell your clothes and then where you can actually donate them. So for my sell pile, 
There are a lot of really good reputable consignment shops um, that I have at my beck and call in Atlanta. And you may have one in your uh, hometown. I actually live in Athens. I don't have any consignment shops here in Athens, but there are some really wonderful ones in, in Atlanta. So I can actually physically take my clothes there if I so choose, or uh, one of the ones that I really, really like, there's some online ones, and the one that I really, really like is ThreadUp. And you can just go online and you can just request a bag. They send the bag to you. You take all your items, you put it in the bag, in, you know, and they, you just put it in the, the mailbox. It's all free, no cost to you at all. So that's really nice. And they'll, they'll go through your items, you know, one by one and see what's worthy enough, you know, to put on their site. And then if, um, if you so choose, you can have the ones that they reject sent back to you, or they actually donate the ones that you, uh, that they've rejected and you don't want them to send back home. So I think it's really just kind of a win-win. So that's uh, thread up. So those are two options for selling your items. Then I have my uh, donate pile. And again, there's so many reputable charities out there. You have Goodwill and Salvation Army and that we have those at our beck and call, again, in our hometown. So you can certainly zip them off there. There's also, um, we have these um, like big uh, bins at uh, some of our shopping centers and they have our local charities. So you can like support a women's shelter. I mean, they actually have it you know, listed. And so that's also a really good way. And I'm sure you have those as well. And the th what I really love, and it's a charity that is really near and dear to my heart, and I uh, partner with Talbots every year, and that is Dress for Success. So this is a wonderful organization that you know comes along and supports women getting back into the workforce. And so we, um, I just usually like keep all of my items, and then when it's time, it's in February, and so when I partner with Talbots with that, then I just take all of my items for Dress for Success, and then I. I take it over to the Talbots and then they send it off to uh, that charity, which I absolutely love. Are you ready for a tour of my dream closet? Well, let's go. I love how inspired closets of Athens utilize every square inch of my space and gave me special amenities like a valet rod where I can hang the items that I'm currently styling. I love the shelving units as well. That gives me lots of space to store my handbags and stackable foldables. But you'll notice my summer handbags are not stored in dust bags, and that's because I like to be able to see what I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis. So what is a stackable foldable? Well, it's any item like a jean, a tee, or a sweater that you can actually fold then stack one on top of the other. This really utilizes your shelving space to its maximum. Look how many jeans I'm able to store on one shelf. And I'm so lucky to have a closet that's large enough to let me have my winter items on display as well. These are my winter jackets that I have stored on a sturdy wooden hangers. And I love double hanging units that really give you extra space. Down below, my pants are hung on pants hangers and I'll have that linked in the description box down below. But up on top, I have my blouses color coded as well as on the right hand side you'll see they're on slim velvet hangers notice how many blouses i can store on the left are wooden hangers which i love but take up more space now we're on to my scarves again i try to keep those color coded these are on shelving units right above a built-in dresser and i love that this dresser has two Drawers devoted specifically to my jewelry. Velvet lined drawers really keep my jewelry stored in a wonderful way. Next, we're on to my shoe tower, and you'll notice that I store my shoes heel toe, heel toe, and that just gives you a little bit extra space.
Notice the hot pink color that's in the background. We decided to go with two walls and a shocking pink color that just gives the closet a little bit of a wow factor. Again, you'll see a shelving unit devoted to handbags and I have acrylic dividers that I can slide and make the space as wide or as narrow as, as I want. But again, the special amenities like a belt rack allow me to store all of my belts, slide them out so I can see what I have at my beck and call, slide it back in. But if you've followed me for any length of time, you know I'm a big lover of belts and have been collecting them for years. And now we're onto the window seat right below the window. Again, we've utilized every square inch of the space, but instead of putting a cushion on top of the window seat and using it as extra seating, I decided to take that opportunity for shoes because what woman has too many pairs of shoes? I keep asking myself that all the time. And then we'll go to the original closet to this bedroom converted into a closet. Again, we have lots of shelving units where I can store my sweaters. I have my lingerie and special lingerie shelving, but the piece de resistance is my Rowenta steamer where I can steam any piece of clothing at a moment's notice. And I love having one particular space where I have my long hanging items, those special occasion items that are a little bit too long for the double hanging units. Then we'll swing over to another special amenity. These are actually tie racks. You could actually hang ties on them, but I've devoted this space to my scarves. And there you have it, ladies, a little special tour of my closet it truly is a dream come true. easy way to keep your closet up to date, organized, and cleansed. So I hope you found some helpful tips today. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, share it with a friend, and don't forget to hit that subscription box before you go. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.